I woke up at 5 a.m. every day for a week straight. I'm on a mission to truly become a Proverbs 31 woman, but how will I accomplish this? A Proverbs 31 woman is the biblical version of today's that girl. She takes care of herself and her family. She manages her time and her money well, and she also wakes up early. And that is where I struggle. So this week I am challenging myself to wake up at 5 a.m every single day for an entire week to try to become more like a Proverbs 31 woman. And this is how it went. So it is Tuesday, December 12th, and I'm getting ready to go to bed because tomorrow I'm starting the challenge of waking up every single day for a week straight at 5 a.m. And you may be wondering, Julia, why are you putting yourself through this? Why are you doing this to yourself? So let me tell you, it's time to change my life. I really hate to admit this, but recently I have been going to bed at like 2 a.m. and waking up at 10 a.m. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. So in an attempt to change that and truly become the essence of what is a Proverbs 31 woman who arises before the sun, I'm gonna try to wake up at 5 a.m. every single day for a week straight. So my 5 a.m. alarm is set and I'm gonna head to bed so I can actually get some sleep. So before I started this challenge, I knew I need to make some rules for myself because I know how much I hate waking up early and if I don't have rules, I probably will fail this challenge. So my rules for this challenge include absolutely no snoozing my alarm whatsoever. No matter how tired I am, I'm gonna get out of bed. Number two, I need to get all of my daily chores done. Number three, I want to read my Bible before scrolling on my phone. And number four, I want to keep a positive, thankful mindset throughout the whole thing and not complain about being up early and really just be excited about waking up early every single day. So this is me laying here questioning absolutely every single part of my life and wondering why I'm putting myself through this. But I knew it was time to get up and start my day. One of the main reasons that I did this challenge is because I knew how hard it would be for me to truly deny my flesh and actually get out of bed before the sun rose. Considering how hard this already is on day one, I don't really know what to expect for the rest of the days of the week. However, waking up early this morning actually felt so good and I got so much more done in my day and I was super productive with everything that I needed to get done. So all in all, I think I'm ready for day two and hopefully it won't be as hard tomorrow. I thought today would be easier but no, it's a lot harder. The temptation to hit snooze today was very strong, but we overcame and we didn't. So let's get up. So it's day two and I can confidently say that today I am way more tired than I was on day one, which I was definitely not anticipating, but I knew I needed to get out of bed. So once I got all my chores done, I wanted to start reading my Bible. And recently I have been reading in the book of John and it's just been super awesome to learn more about Jesus's life that he lived here on earth. Maybe it'll still taste good. <laughs> Tastes like microwave plastic. What in the world? That's what I imagine eating a leaf tastes like. So I ended up going to get Jacob and I breakfast burritos to make up for the catastrophe that was the bacon. And then I got ready for the day because that always makes me feel better. And I was feeling very tired this morning, but maybe day three will be a little bit easier. I'm not ready to be up. So after I laid in bed contemplating my entire life for about 10 minutes, I decided to get up and actually get on with my day. So 
So it's day three and I'm actually feeling pretty good. It is 5.31 a.m. And literally, I think yesterday I had a harder time like waking up and actually getting out of bed and getting stuff done. But this morning, I just was really motivated to get it done. I did take a nap yesterday, which I probably shouldn't have done because that probably made it hard for me to fall asleep at night. But I'm just glad that I'm sticking to it. We're almost halfway done. And I really think this challenge is gonna really push me to deny my flesh in this instance that wants to go back to bed and stay awake and read my Bible. outside so I'm really glad it didn't rain on me I went and got a caffeinated drink and I'm just gonna give you guys a little update on where I'm at with the challenge so it is Saturday the fourth day of waking up at 5 a.m. every single day for a week straight we only have three more days to go and I honestly think that this challenge is going better than I expected it to it hasn't been as hard as I thought like I really just put my mind to it and said okay I cannot fail I will not let myself fail I will not let myself snooze the alarm and I haven't done that I've been praying and asking God to give me the strength and so waking up with purpose each morning and knowing that this is like this is something that I need to do with my life and I need to start waking up earlier because I haven't been doing that and I've honestly been like loving sleep a little too much and this verse about loving sleep really convicted me and so I said shoot I need to start waking up earlier but we're not done yet so we only have three more days to go in this challenge and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. today but tomorrow and the next day are gonna be super busy so I'm glad that I woke up early today but I really wanted to sleep in but I'm proud of myself I didn't break any rules I'm feeling pretty good but I'm honestly pretty sleep deprived I took a four hour nap yesterday like right in the middle of the day so I don't really know if waking up at 5 a.m. is making me more or less productive I feel like it might kind of be evening out but however I do enjoy waking up earlier in the day and we're gonna keep going. So I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Well guys, 
I feel like I've said this every single day of this challenge, but as the week goes on, it consistently gets harder and harder to wake up. Today is the second to last day of the challenge, meaning tomorrow morning is my last morning that I have to wake up at 5 a.m. So I'm proud of myself that I've gotten through the challenge this far. Am I sleep deprived? Yes, I am. But am I gonna make it through this? Yes, I am. And will I be sleeping in like no other the day after this challenge is over? Maybe. So I definitely think that moving forward, 7 a.m. is a good goal for me to try to achieve to wake up every day. But I don't know, we'll see. Maybe after this challenge, I learn like what catching on sleep is like and maybe I'll become an 8 a.m. girly. I don't really know. But all I know is that I'm on a journey to become a true Proverbs 31 woman and the last day of this seven day challenge starts right now. So waking up this morning was probably the easiest morning of them all because I knew that this was my last day of the seven day challenge. So I'm super thankful to this challenge for teaching me that it's not so much about the time that you wake up, but it's about what you do with the time that you are awake. Waking up at 5 a.m. every day for a week straight is definitely not something that I will continue to do, but I'm thankful that I challenged myself to do it for a week, and I pray that this video inspires you to make the most of the time in your day and see how you can serve God with it more and more. <laughs>